My name is Jordan. I'm from Brazil. And it's a huge pleasure for me to be here today talking to you guys. And before we start to talk about the cytomyopia, I want to apologize because my English is not so good like I would like to be. So maybe we have some problems, like this kind of problems, I mean. Maybe I'm gonna try to talk about shit that planilha in Portuguese and maybe okay, I can say shit that is different. I, I don't know how to, but don't worry about it, okay? It, I will do, I will try to do my best. So, when I, I work with a head coding, I work with a pen tester for a long time, and I'm founder of Stay Safe Podcast, founder of uh, Hacker Space in Brazil. I have spoken in a, a lot of conference, in Brazilian conference, Hackers to Hackers, You Shot the Sheriff at Argentina, and in another states. I have another conference called the Value Security Conference, and so, but it really doesn't matter, and we just have 30 minutes, so let's do it. What is our agenda today? What are we gonna talk about? I'm gonna talk about the value of information. I'm gonna talk about pseudo security. Some examples, that's really cool. Some Brazilian companies that I'm gonna show how the problem really works. The impact and what I think that is necessary to change it. So first, the value of information. It's totally clear for us that information is all. All that we need is information, our data, it's all important for the company. If you don't have your data, you are lost, right? So, but imagine if you needed to manage your company without your customer's data. And if you have a disaster recovery plan, going something like this. Help, help, please. I don't have nothing, right? But worse, what if this data falls into your competitor's hand? Are you losing your market share? Are you losing a piece of your market share? So what I said is, why don't you take care of it? like this case. It's your information. So, but when usually I ask this question, people answer me, but yeah, we do take care of it. We have all the three mechanisms that are awesome to do to take care about security. For example, physical mechanisms. We have locks, we have windows, we have all this stuff. And we have logical mechanisms. We, ha we have IDS, IPS, firewall, and WAF, and other stuff. And we have the services, the policies, the standards, right? But for all these three things, we have a problem. What is that, guys? Lock picking, right? Lock picking kit. So, physical mechanism can be broken. Yeah, for sure. What is that? Come on, use your imagination. Crackers, exactly. Right? And in this case, what we have here? We have this awesome guy. He's angry. He's totally angry. Look at this. Yeah, we have users. There's a lot of violence, I know, a lot of blood. But it's our enemy. This user cannot access his Facebook account. Look at what he did. So, it's always this way. User always against us. 
And about lock picking, do you think, guys, that it's difficult to to use kits of lock picking? How many of you have you ever tried? Yeah, and Sussex. Yeah, for sure. So I bring something here just to show you. Just just a second, please. It's emotional because I'm gonna take something in my bag in just a second. Okay, now I can get it back again. Sorry, man. <laughs> so, it's better to take this picture off. But, getting back. Sure we do. We have a CSO. Look our CSO. Sometimes he made some mistakes. Yeah, it's a simple mistake. So, problem solved. Yeah, for sure. Unfortunately not. Sometimes you... Just get out of the J.O. and go to, please, complete the freeze. Okay, so what is the problematic, in my opinion? The constructive process in which every company goes through when creating and structuring the policies. I'm going to show you guys three different pictures. And please, say me what you see, what you guys see on this picture, please. In this case. What is that? Sorry? Empty border. Empty it's a meeting room. Can be. And right here. Just some people write on a paper. They are writing their standards, their policies. And now? Okay, great, our security policy is awesome. Great, ah, yeah. So, any similarity between those mesh? Come on guys, be creative. Help me, help me with that. Yeah, I'm thinking inside the box, me too. Always, so, constructive process, again, fail. Let's check it. Who can win? Nobody? No? Please again? Please someone? No? Okay, I win. Great new guys. Crackers and company teachers are not part of your plans. I didn't say that. You can do it. It's what we do doing pen test. It's what we do doing hacking. You have something, you have a parameter, and we have to broker it. Yeah, it's exactly what we do. So the main problem, in, in my opinion, is this, the pseudo security. You think that you are protected, but look our killer. He's beautiful, right? He's handsome. It's our killer. So, the problematic. Constitutive process, generate an inbox vision, pseudo security, sit and cry. Right, baby? Let's see some examples. For obvious lesion, the URLs and names are preserved, but now I'm, I'm sorry to show, but you you guys are you always gonna put on the side the the sector and you gonna have a, an idea of the size of company, how, how big is that, and this stuff. This is in Portuguese, and I'm gonna translate to you, to you guys. Uh, it's something, to, uh, I was, Buying an airplane ticket to São José dos Campos, it is in São Paulo, Brazil. And when I was chatting with the uh, company, with the flight company, so welcome to blah 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 company. May I help you? Yes. Good morning. Good morning. I'm trying to buy a. I'm trying to book. 
a passage from Salvador, Bahia, to Sao Paulo. And when I'm trying to buy it and I'm trying to book it, they tell me that it cannot be done. And this is the, the message that told me. Unfortunately, it's not possible to reserve, to book right now your, your flight. Please try another flight. And I sent this to this guy and the attendant just answer me. Okay, sir, I understood. Have you ever tried to reboot your machine? <laughs> Man, this was my face. <laughs> and sure, I continue. Yes, I try. I try to change the browser. I try to do a lot of things, but... <laughs> so, yeah, people, people are... Come. Now, talking about the financial sector. Let's start. When you start to, to program, to develop something, the first thing you learn is Hello World. Print F Hello World. Or Java System dot out alien print alien. So Hello World. It's from a big company from financial sector that is on air, that's online and is there. Okay. And health. Talking about health in Brazilian, it's the biggest company in Brazilian about insurance. Yeah, that's correctly. Insurance for health. Yeah. So I was hired to do the brute force here. I needed to bypass this login page. And we have the user, the password, and and this. Okay. First, I could I try test test. I could try test one, two, three. Yeah, but no, it's not necessary. I just Googled it and look at what I found. Can you see it, the toolbar or the address bar? Yeah, they don't have the check it. So I can go and include a user and come back and log in and do what I need. So there is not any kind of verification about it. Getting back to the financial sector, to bank. This kind of messages are encrypted, but that really, it are encrypted. And all the transactions for info investment can be see here. I could see here. So when I click on this message, he tell me the account number, how how the amount of value can be transfer, and all this stuff. And I just Google like this site com.br file type text txt and the name of the bank. And now it's open, not not anymore, but always open. Another kind of food services. They are using a Samba through the internet. So just put the address and look at that fantastic Samba server. Here I am, and here I have something different. Here is in Portuguese, but it's some proteger in Portuguese is protect in English. Just needed some arrow here for me and something just highlighting, you know? Because, yeah, great, thank you, man. Just protect config.php, a folder called SQL, and when I open this, config.php I know that's bad to see but I just take it off the username but the password is clever is the name of the of the of the person so encryption why use it no it's not necessary yeah it's a huge problem so, another 
a publisher assigned this magazine and when I was trying to do this pen test, I just saw that they have an SQL on the folder, on the Apache folder. Listen, right? Can you understand me, what I said? Yep. Yeah. So the SQL and look here, the screw bar. Look at this dump, right? So here I have, I don't know if all, but I have a lot of name of of the people that signed these magazines and all the the address, all the stuffs. Yeah, this kind is another problem. Here, it's about journalism, and when you go to webinar, there's a lot of companies with this problem. When you go to watch some webinar, you do your you 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 put your data into the form, right? And when you do that, sometimes they just generate a .csv, and a CSV it's done. It's when you open when it open the shit. I don't know if I said shit or shit. Okay, but when you open, you have all the stuff. You have the name the Full, yeah, the full name, the address, the, the telephone number, how many, how much spent to to invest in this, and another kind of franchising. This is a great problem and a huge problem too. For example, when you are when you guys are using PHP, ASP, or JSP, JSP, right? They are we are using a server side language, right? And the server side language, what's happened? All the things are running on the server. So, if for any reason you just change the the extension from the file, you're gonna show the code. Really show the code because. If you are working, for example, with PHP and you put, you usually if you are working with PHP, the PHP will gonna be in running on server and return an HTML, right? But if you change it, you're gonna have the code. And here exactly is the same if ASP. So look at that. SQL dot ASP test. So all this stuff is here. All the code, all the connection to the database. And again, look the password without encryption. Okay? So problem. And one thing that OASP tell, tells up a lot of about it, it is Escalation privilege. So, in this case, we have this. We have that code over there, code underline kata. It means kata franqueado. It's just an ID, and you have a number seven three three four three. It's it's related to Alexandri. We have this name, and what if? We just change that number. Okay. It's another people. Two. Right? So I can make a script, I can develop a script and do all the take out the database. Five minutes? Are you kidding me? Okay, no problem. So it's another financial sector. It's the same here. Look. If you look in inside, upstairs, up there, we have ID from magazine that correspond to this. We have the number of order, and we have the flag. 
if we change it the same right it's gonna be the same thing now before I was Jordan was my name and later I was Isabel just here right please guys okay and that flag means if the this boleto yeah you call here boleto when you disorder it it was paid or not so now I need your imagination here in this up we have um, retail magazine a retail website sorry that I was buying something but we have a variable there return URL can you see equal www.google.com.br and where I'm going there I'm going to Google what's happened here sorry redirection yeah open proxy yeah what else can I do here come on help me guys I just have more three minutes that guy is angry you so yeah but look there it's ASP again server side I can point to mm, another website with running my code on that server right so I can put some CMD put into my site to get on this server and do what I want to do okay I um, needed to go already another examples when you go to the company it's for example in Brazil I don't know here but it's usually you go and you find this guy and he said you cannot enter if your laptop even better if you have this something like hacking over here yeah it, and usually are this kind of guy the green mile you know but okay so you ask and smartphone yeah dude sure so here it is iPhone with Matt exploit you know that if Matt exploit session open yeah so we needed to think about it yeah some impacts that I see failure is accessible to any user because it requires a small degree of technology a technical acknowledgement privilege escalation data manipulation so technical knowledge I just use Google here guys you saw that and business impact whoa there's a lot of come down there's still hope what would MacGyver do don't answer okay don't answer it I'm just in my opinion people that don't leave the company it's really easier to find new breaches when you are not 100% dedicated to the company so in my humble opinion CSOs better integration with hackers I don't know here in the United States but in Brazil it's really difficult to get a discontact a outbox vision when you're doing your policies and a specific area to report vulnerabilities because sometimes you try to report some vulnerabilities and it's crime or it goes to some someone that doesn't know what you're talking about so just to close because I'm having a bad looking uh, what doesn't kill you make you stronger is right and guys that's it and your data is it safe yeah lie to me yeah I love it <laughs>